Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update network drivers on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So generally it's important to keep your drivers up to date and your network drivers are no exception. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys of how to do it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the easiest way would be just to open up the search menu and search for device manager. Best match, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on the network adapter section here. And then right click on your network connection driver that is listed under here and select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. And then you can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update by selecting that second option there. Alternatively, you can also, instead of selecting search automatically for drivers, you could select the second option here to browse your computer for drivers, locate and install a driver manually. So if you want to go onto the manufacturer's website, so I'll show you guys how to do that in a moment, you can go ahead and actually locate the file directory by selecting the browse button and then just upload or install the driver yourself. Or you can select a predetermined or available driver that's already on your computer, in which case you will be presented different drivers that are on your computer. Now, you can select them here. They're generally generic drivers, so not usually going to be as good as the manufacturer's one. But if you right-clicked on the driver and selected Properties and selected the Driver tab, you could see the driver version listed here. So if you went onto Google or another search engine online and then looked up your network connection driver, you would be able to see if there are newer versions available for download. What's it just getting it directly from the manufacturer or publisher's website as opposed to a third party site, unless you're using very old hardware, in which case you may not have many options in that regard, but just something worth noting. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.